For Crema Media's Polity, I'm Sane Lameni. Researcher and analyst Professor Raymond Zadna joins me for Zadna's View, a weekly commentary on South Africa's political scene. Welcome, Professor. Thank you. Recently, the National Prosecuting Authorities has seized control of a Stina farm as it sets out to recover the money, which is around $1.6 billion from the Guptas. Can we rely on the police to act on this matter swiftly? Uh, I think they dealt with three things. There mm. was the Estina farm where assets were f of being frozen. I'm not sure at what stage it's got. Mm. They're not a uh, seized physical control, as far as I'm aware, but of the assets. Uh, and then there's Trillion and McKinsey, uh, which is, uh, I think that's 1.6 billion plus. The farm is about 210 uh, Million. I think that um, a certain momentum has been created now with Cyril Ramaphosa being elected uh, on the program of cleaning up corruption and uh, that momentum has been taken up with great fervor by the public, by the media, by business, mm. so that even if Cyril Ramaphosa wants to turn back, there's an expectation. Mm. And w with regard to the police, the Sunday Times had a story, uh, the NPA, let's say, the Sunday Times had a story suggesting that the assets forfeiture unit uh, was sitting on this, and SAFTU, the South African uh, Federation of Trade Unions, actually prepared a case. And if they were not going to act, they would have acted themselves. Mm -hmm. I think it may be something like a private prosecution where when someone doesn't take the prosecution, that you step in and then they move. Now, Sean Abrams says, no, he's always been doing this, preparing this, he's, pre he's tracked down all 200 witnesses for the Zuma case and all of that. But I think that there is a will now to deal with it. And the evidence presented to the Free State Court mm. in regard to the Estina farm seems to suggest that they do have a lot of evidence. Uh, they've gathered the evidence and it's very hard to stop midstream when you've got evidence, for example, that only uh, out of 100 and, oh, was it 210 million mm. spent on the farm, only about 20 million was spent on the dairy. 10 million went straight away to Atul Gupta. Other sums went to uh, some account and then went to Dubai. Some of it came back to South Africa. Some of it paid for the Gupta wedding, things like that. So I think that uh, this, there's a turning point now. Um, I think we mustn't romanticize the rise of Cyril Ramaphosa. But however, Cyril Ramaphosa is on, on a, a record about what he wants to do. Mm -hmm. And a whole lot of people in the economy are expecting this. And then steps have been taken, mm -hmm. not just with the Guptas, but the thing with ESCOM, a range of things have happened and also a lot of the people who were in President Zuma's camp have changed sides. You know, they are in the process mm. of negotiating changing of sides because that's the way their future seems to lie for them. Mm. And do you think the Guptas will try various ways maybe to avoid prosecution? Yes, you know, I, if I were the Guptas, I don't want to give them ideas, but I'm sure they thought of this already. If I were the Guptas, I would already have gotten an aeroplane to Dubai or wherever. Although, by the way, the Dubai authorities are now, uh, the Dubai authorities and some of the banks are now mm -hmm. cooperating because they don't want to be laundering mon money. But there was a story in one of the Sunday papers showing all the properties that they have in South Africa. So if they skip the country, they leave all their wealth behind. If they stay here, there's a very good chance of them going to jail. Mm. So they will hire the best counsel that you can get in the country. 
got the money for that, mm. to get a very good uh, attorney and a very good advocate. And um, they may try to avoid going to jail or being stopping the prosecution, delaying the prosecution. Mm. Um, and I think it, it becomes more easy and more difficult if the case is well prepared. If the case is strong, the case is well prepared, the possibilities of delaying are not easy. But it may well be, if I were the authorities, and I don't know whether we can rely on all the authorities, because most of the authorities have been, uh, you know, uh, complicit. They've not done anything about this. So if I were them, I wouldn't, I would take their passports away at some point, or, or if I were the prosecutor, I'd take their passports away, make sure you've got all the passports, all of that. Uh, but you know, you can't just go and take everyone's passports. Mm -hmm. If Atul Gupta is the only one who's implicated in this, you can only take his passport away for that. And they are not directly involved with Trillian and um, McKinsey, even though uh, they've been associated with them. In that case, ESCOM just paid them for nothing, you know, uh, for doing no work. They got 1.6 million, mm -hmm. billion. Yeah. And lastly, Raymond, DA leader Musima Imane recently called for Minister of Mineral Resources, Museben Zizwane, as well as the newly elected SG, ANC SG, Ace Mahashule, to be arrested over the matter. Would you agree? Well, you know, the, the initiation of the project, Estina Dairy, uh, the project in Frida, um, was done without a proper evaluation of the place where it was going to be. Uh, I think somewhere there's a quotation saying that it needs to be secluded. I d it unfortunately was not attributed to anyone. Secondly, uh, there was not any serious attempt to provide dairy products. Um, in fact, uh, a lot of uh, cattle were found dead in a ditch, and that ditch ha sometimes water flows there mm -hmm. and pollutes water for local inhabitants. Thirdly, they claim they uh, went and studied something in India about dairy farming, and there's no proper record of that. The person who was in charge of running the dairy farm had no dairy farming experience, he was an IT person. Mahashule, in the early days of the project, uh, indicated that this was a way of empowering African farmers and things like that. And he endorsed it very much as premier of the free state. So that there is, it would seem to me, a case that can be made to charge Mahashule. In the case of Musa Benzi Zwane, there is a very strong case because he was very much involved in the project. He was Minister MEC for Agriculture. And the, um, the project was definitely fraudulent in the sense that the funds did not go, the funds paid by the Free State Government, public money, our money, taxpayers, money, taxpayers' money given to the free state was, was paid into this farm and the money was laundered. Laundered means it goes to one place for one purpose, one bank. It gets quickly sent to another place. So after a while you can't see where there's the source of the funds. Mm. And the funds, among other things, paid for the wedding of the Gupta. Someone says when uh, fund, uh, transfer of funds is suspicious, tends to be in round figures. Now, if you get an account for something that's 353,014.26, now all of this is in 10,000, 100,000, 84,000. So I think that uh, both Zwane, 
and um, uh, Mahrashule have a good chance of being charged. Unlike Gupta, the Guptas, I would be very surprised if they had a very careful or good opportunity for exit, uh, like to to Dubai or things like that. They're not such big fry. It may be that the Guptas um, dump them. See, what is happening with regard to Duduzani Zuma is this talk that he's offering to be a state witness uh, mm -hmm. in exchange for being free. Now, it may be that Esma Khashule or Zwane will have offer to be a state witness or that Atul Gupta will offer to be a state witness. I don't know, you know. So yeah. it's possible that people get off that way. But those people, seems to me, but I don't have the docket, there's no docket yet, mm -hmm. but it does seem that they could very well be charged and very well be convicted. Mm. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. That was Professor Raymond Satna speaking to Krima Media's polity about whether time is running out for the Guptas. <laughs>